the best thing is to do is to join up as a part of the Healthcare Consumers Association. You get lots of information, they teach you, they train you. A lot of the time, um, I find that people are not aware of the opportunity that is there in terms of being a consumer representative. And by that, I mean people from multicultural backgrounds um, and people from my community, for example. I encourage them to take that opportunity to have their voices heard because a lot, some of the time we, f we hear that services might not understand the perspectives of cult community members. And so services won't understand if they aren't hearing those voices. And so I would encourage them to take um, up the training with the um, Healthcare Consumers Association. Um, I did it, it was fantastic. And I had um, opportunity to learn um, how I can make sure my voice is heard and also um, how I can frame some of the things that are important to me in terms of health, um, healthcare and well-being. If you've been a patient, you can bring your level of expertise and your understanding and your knowledge to help other people. The tips I'd give is to just dive in and give it a go. Well, I would say just do it. That's the first thing. But then I would say get some advice, talk to somebody like healthcare consumers, find out where you can get some training. To be a really effective consumer representative, you need to have had some training so you can really do your best in what can be a quite complex place, the health system. I think it's really important that um, you take time to, to learn how the committee works. You're probably feeling a little bit nervous if you've never done anything like this before, and I would say go for it. It can be very rewarding Make sure you read your meeting papers thoroughly and especially at the beginning, it's a good idea to have uh, a few notes about particular things uh, you might intend to comment on or say during the meeting. I would suggest building a good rapport with the chair or secretariat or both because a lot of the content is clinical, sometimes technical. We're not doctors, we're not always going to understand everything that's discussed. So if there is something that you don't understand that you need to understand to have context during the meeting, talk to the chair or the secretariat beforehand. What I would recommend to anyone who's looking at starting is this, is that you have to understand your own journey, but then also understand that your journey might not be the only one in forming system change. So what I would encourage is speaking to other reps, you know, trying to understand what are the other barriers that might affect other consumers. When I first started, one of the sage um, um, elders in healthcare consumers um, would say to me, drip, 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 Kerry. It's systemic advocacy and so you can't expect a lot of change very quickly. But I think that's probably sage advice, is that with systemic advocacy, change is going to happen slowly. Um, but also I would add to that that your voice is so important. Lived experience is incredibly important voice to have around every table.